Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking at Pam's Place. We are getting ready to make Southern style cornbread. This cornbread is going to be for my Thanksgiving cornbread dressing. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. And then just keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Come with me, I'll show you what to do. In this big measuring cup, I have my flour. Always whisk your flour if you don't sift it, so make sure there are no lumps in it. Now, I will have all the specific ingredients and measurements in the description. Here I have my homemade cornmeal. And if you wanna know how to do that, I have a shorts video that I put up be sure to watch that. I've already measured it out, so I know what's going in here. To that, I am adding baking soda, baking powder, and salt, which is combined in this container. And because this is going to be my cornbread for my cornbread dressing, I am adding sage. Now, we will be adding a lot more sage once we actually make our dressing but if you add just a little bit to your actual cornbread it's going to be amazing it's like layering flavors so make sure this is well combined once it's all combined go ahead and set that aside and grab another bowl to this bowl we're going to be adding our eggs our buttermilk and again that's homemade buttermilk to this, I am adding melted butter that I melted in my cast iron skillet until it's just slightly brown. Pour it on in. Make sure you whisk this really good and your eggs are well beaten. Next, go ahead and add your dry ingredients into your wet ingredients and we're going to just mix this until it's just incorporated do not over mix it if you over mix it then your cornbread is going to come out dry so make sure you mix it until it's just incorporated Make sure your oven is preheated to 425 degrees and whatever butter is left in your skillet, go ahead and rub it all around on the sides and everything of your skillet or baking dish if you're not using a cast iron skillet. Also for maximum crown on your cornbread, let your mix sit for about five minutes before putting it into your pan. No, mine had actually sat a little bit before I started putting it in the skillet. Spread it around a little bit to make sure it's pretty even. We're going to bake this and we'll be back. Okay, we are all done. Please subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell, and if you enjoyed the video, share it out with family and friends. And I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Mmm, mmm, delicious.